Today I want to talk a little bit about using bench dogs. I think almost all commercial benches these days come with bench dogs. The idea is you insert a dog in the bench and then you clamp it up using another dog set in the vise at the end of the bench. We can see here a common problem. Even if we close this vise right up, the bench dog is not going to touch the end of the work. We do have another hole here, and we could clamp it like so. But in that case, we've got no support under the work. And once the work gets thin, it can deflect and we'll lose the flat surface we're trying to prepare with a plane. So we always want to clamp with the work on the solid bench top. Therefore that's the first dog we can use and we have to bridge this gap. Now it's useful, essential really, to have a set of different spacers that we can use in the end here. Find the most appropriate and then wind in the dog in your vise. That holds the work nice and firm. But what if you've got a bench that doesn't have a tail vise? And in fact, do you need a tail vise? Well, it's probably quite convenient if you can afford it, but you don't actually need one. You can use wedges. A pair of wedges, folding wedges, sliding wedges, there, they're known as, put together, when they pass by each other, they increase in total width. As we push these wedges against each other, hopefully you can see that the distance between them here gets wider and wider. Narrows when we part them and as we push them together it gets wider. And that's what we use to wedge our work between bench dogs. So to work on the same piece of wood when we don't have a tail vise, but we have bench dog holes. Place the work up against one bench dog and a bench dog into the next available hole. Then take a pair of folding wedges, set as narrow as they go against the bench dog, and then sort out through your various spaces the one that fits the best. Then it's a case of folding those wedges, sliding them against each other until the work is held really tight. A problem that's often encountered when using bench dogs, if we haven't held the work from the back, is that unless we're working with a force directly opposing the bench dog, there's a tendency for the work to rotate. If we've got very narrow work, like so, that tends not to be a problem. But the wider we go, for example this piece, if we plane directly at the bench dog, that's fine. But if we try and cover the whole width of the board, this side will rotate in the one direction, and on this side will rotate that way. However, by using the bench dogs, an appropriate spacer, and the wedges, we can hold the work nice and firm, work right out to the extremes, without the work rotating. See my video on making door stops which is basically what a wedge is, for how to prepare wedges. When you're using them for clamping, it's best to leave the surfaces just a little bit rough. <laughs> 